In this episode, we're looking at jumps and drops. The difference between jumping and dropping is this. When you jump, you use a kicker, a ramp that will propel you upwards. When you drop, this is generally without a kicker, and your bike will travel downwards from one level to another. Hello, I'm Guido Chug. I've been a bike pro for 15 years and I'll be telling you the correct technique for jumping. It's important to have your pedals in the right position, a position where your crank is horizontal with your leading foot forward. In my case, it's my right foot. You will need to spot the part of the jump where you will spring, so keep looking forwards the whole time. Just before the jump, I push my weight down and then up again. When landing, I push down onto the front wheel to make sure I land with both wheels at the same time to continue to the next jump. And a small tip for style, no hectic or jerky movements. The drop. When approaching a drop, my body drops deep into the bike. From this position, I make sure to jump right on the edge of the drop. When in flight, I make sure my arms and legs are then stretched and my weight is as central to the bike as possible. I then begin to push the handlebars down as I spot the landing, as this will help me land with both wheels at the same time. The outstretched arms and legs help me absorb the impact.